Hey guys, it's your four Mustang here, and today I got some very interesting information on the hub update that 20 Pites and the fellow programmers over at GameFam are working on. So anyways, let's get right into the information we got over here. So if you look at this image that 22 Pilots has posted on Twitter, you can see that there are a whole variety of things that the new hub system will come with. It includes a default setting, the region, the fill, which basically shows how many people are in the server, the team fill, which shows how many people are on a team, and then there's a server location in a certain region of a country. So over here, when you go ahead and join Ultimate Driving in the future, whenever this update is out, you'll see a list of friends that are in a particular server with a couple of circles. And I know it says 20 pies just right now, but it'll probably say a certain username and a couple others, like plus four more for example. And it'll show the user's avatar in the profile picture in a black background with a yellow border around it. Like 22 Pipes logo that he has as his profile picture. And then next to that you see all the different servers. Now I know everything's the same right now for a taser, but in the future when this is out, there'll be different maps and different server locations. Like for example, you see it saying Odessa, and that's the region of the map, hence to where you can sort for the region. And then there's a server location as where the server is created from, or just based on a particular region for your friends. This one says Northeast USA. That basically shows you where the server is created, and it can help you choose like different friends or making you be more of your local friends if you're especially like in the same region of the country like where you're from like for example for me it says northeast usa but for other people who may live down the southeast or southwest it would say that even like the northwest and etc for any country in the entire world and then you'll see over here that there are the amount of people that are in the server entirely. Like for example, you see that there are 27 people. Other servers are so different numbers of the amount of people in there, with the max being 30. And then you got the team fill, which shows right over there for the hub on the servers. It'll show how many people of those uh, 27 people for example or whatever the amount is on different teams so for example you see that there are five people on the police team three of them on the firefighter EMT team four on a trucker five being the transit and two of them being dot workers it's I think that is a very cool addition to not only get to know how many people are in the server like you do on Roblox's servers, when you go outside and choose a server below from the about page on game for a different tab, but now, like upon joining Ultimate Driving, you'll get to know how many people are on different teams, and then the rest of them are on that big number for the amount of people in the server, as if you were counting the civilians. But yeah, I think that is a really cool addition to have. Maybe if you feel like you want to be a police officer or a firefighter but no one's on it then you can go ahead and join there if you feel like you want to roleplay as that position. Someone to take care of in the server. The hub update is going to be a game changer in ultimate driving and its community and it will leave a lasting impact on the game forever. Well, along with the new maps and stuff, the hub update relies on everything that will get added in the future for ultimate driving with the ability to teleport to different maps 
when you reach the end and just being able to select servers even from different maps like I'm sure when the hub updates out if you are in Westover you can go ahead and choose a server in Odessa or Delancey Gorge and I think that is a very convenient and awesome way to interact and join your friends from different maps if you just realize that if you're in Westover and you like to play with them somewhere else in a different map or even just like find different job opportunities too and the whole thing is teleportation if you were to drive a truck over to the Odessa map via I-76 or US-40 then you'll easily be able to get there I'll just do like a quick roll out and you're there and it's going to just leave a lasting impact for you to not having to join different games just to get access to different maps but being able to cross different maps through the teleportation system when you are in the game now that is something to look forward to and I'm sure everyone in the ultimate driving community is looking forward to it I don't think there are anyone who doesn't like this update I mean this is something that will be lasting impact on the game forever. And when I was saying that everything relies on this game with the hub update, because it does. Like, for example, when you get the mansions upcoming, whenever they'll get added as a separate pass to owning homes, they need to sync in with the other maps throughout the entire system as a whole universe for a video game it'll just make everything easier to develop the other updates so along with trucking to join with different maps and so many other things I can just go on and on about and with that said in terms of making everything easier for future updates that is why the hub update and new maps are currently the biggest priority in the ultimate driving teams that are around. While 22 Pilots and some of the other developers are building the maps, the programmers over at GameFam are working on the hub update. Even then, 22 Pilots comes in to check and works on it as well. So, this is going to be a very good update for whenever it comes out. But yeah, as I said before, just to clear things up, you got the default which will give you random servers that your friends are in. Then you can use region to sort the different maps that are around. Like there will be some options too, right, where you can choose between Westover, Odessa, Delancey Gourds, Newark, even like Monroe, Curtic, whatever maps are there. Then use fill to sort by the amount of people are in the server and then team fill which they'll give you different options for different teams and you can find servers that have the largest amount of people on the police team and the other teams that are around or if you want to find a small server that has very little police or firefighters, truckers, transit, dot workers and you name it even for the mail team, which is not on the board, I'm sure the mail icon will be there whenever this update is out. And then server location, where you can sort servers by location as to where they are created from throughout the world. Like, as I said before, Northeast United States, and then there will be the different regions in the U.S. That I've said before. You know, even there will be different regions or server locations in France, Germany, Russia, Mexico, Canada, you name it, whatever country you are talking about, I'm sure there are server locations everywhere for it. And then I guess the back button is there in case you just want to literally just go into any server and don't want to do any sorting. Uh, yeah, this is a very convenient way to find the right server if you're looking for a particular server with the amount of people in or region that you're looking for. Yes guys that's going to be it for the video right there. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button, comment your thoughts below about this amazing hub update and what it has to offer. All the convenient things to do with it and how this will change ultimate driving forever and make development easier for other updates in the future. Join my Discord server located in the description and feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications as I like to upload ultimate driving content. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.